What's the weirdest um time I got stopped? It was yeah, probably like, uh, I don't know. If people be stopping me random times, like when I gotta take a shit or something. They they just be like, <laughs> hey, can <laughs> I get a? They would give me their whole life story out front of, in front of my house. Like, I stay downtown, so it's like Shark yeah. Part Two. Yeah, Shark Part Two. <laughs> <laughs> so I just be like, yeah, you know, uh, okay, cool. You wanna get this pic? Uh-huh. Yeah, man. I just thank you so much. Yeah. Uh huh. And then you know you can't be like rude. So I just be nice. I'd be like, you know, take the picture with him. Everything. <laughs> That's dope. Ain't mad about it. So like you have you have a lot of confidence. You know, so definitely extremely confident. What would you tell some of the cats out there that's like it's kind of scary because you don't care. You, you be having shirt off, yeah. everything. You just like it's just like you can tell that you love yourself at yeah, this point. I love you know myself. You gotta love yourself. And it's something that I'm not I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. It's something that is not gonna be easy to do. You know what I'm saying? Especially when the world come from Instagram models looking right. good. Um, supermodels looking good and it's constantly in your face every day and you see that and it's like you really like comparing yourself but the thing is you don't you just do you you love yourself you pray to God you you know what I'm saying but still just be you when you do get hate online is that where the hate comes from like they always try to target like the yeah yeah I get you hate like, insecure about yeah they they talk about my weight I mean that's like when people say I'm oh you fat I'm like Duh, like, niggas in the fuck, like, you Captain you know? Obvious. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, like, and, You're smart, Sherlock. Yeah, and it's like, okay, cool. And then, like, it be so, it, I be hurt sometimes. Like, I'll probably just hit the gym one morning. Cool, get a little message. You need to lose weight. And I'm like, fuck, I thought I just did, but okay, you know. But you just got to ignore it. Like, if, if you take your negatives and turn to positive, it works because they've been calling me fluffy since he's got on radio with me. Oh, true. And even because right, he's not right here. He's not necessarily fat. The gentleman right here man, has been fluffy. telling me, been joning on me about working out, and he took all my weight from me. You know what I'm saying? He's the he's the big one now. So so yeah. But yeah, but but we we kind of boosted him too. It, it kind of backfired on us because now he be on his Insta live with his shirt off. Ooh, he, he lost yeah, he, right here. No, I definitely be out. Midget. Look, I, him. Listen to me. Listen to me. He, he I'm lost point two trap. pounds. You hear me? I but listen, I'm working on the third. He trap, lost point two pounds. He was like, "Oh, I'm not fat no more." Oh. <laughs> he took his shirt off in his live. Hey, but hey, kudos Call to you. In your skin. I mean, I don't want to see his titties on my live. Like, I, I'm my on titties my live. Have went down, brother. Man, I, my man boobs have went down. <laughs> so I don't want to see my titties on their live, but they seeing it. That's what I'm talking about. He gonna take off his shirt. <laughs> oh, ooh. he like little ant life with a little big belly and everything. <laughs> oh, the Gucci nah. man, the yeah, old the Gucci, Gucci man, no, with the skinny chest. Though. Oh, all this is real. <laughs> he looks no, pregnant. With the, the 60 cents. Oh, you talking about like the uh, what's that? The uh, man in black alien. <laughs> yeah, <right? laughs> you crazy? I take my shirt off right now. <laughs> please, please don't. Please don't. <laughs> so, 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 so tell me about your personal life, man. Do you ever have time to be in a relationship? Ooh, shoot! You just hit a nail. Um, I mean, of course, you know. There's always room for that special one, but right now, I'm just working. That was a real professional shit-ass answer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but you want to be real? Like, yeah. I'm out here I'm, fucking I'm, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, you know, hey, I'm a man. Right. I'm, I'm a human. Shit, we need to have sex. So I do have sex with females. But I like, hope so. But I don't be like, but I don't I be hope. going crazy. Well, I be seeing some people just go crazy with it. Like, every day, probably two days, like, every two girls a day, like, different girls. I can't do that. Like, right. I just need like can't one, or won't can't. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can, but no. So but, so so how has it how has it gone up? Like you know what I'm saying? Like because I, I I was just thinking like how how the game is now. It's like people are almost like a more attractive to people that's popping on Instagram. It's almost like yeah, yeah. that's the key now. At first it was like you used to be a fan of a rapper or somebody you saw on TV. Now it's like Instagram. You got two hundred thousand. Your boy come here like, man, I'm hit this girl. She got 200,000 followers. Like, how is that? Like, it's almost like it's not real no more. Like, relationships. And- relationships is very uh, artificial, now, in my opinion. And it's going to be hard to, like, you know, like, find somebody that's, that's you know, this in, for you, for you. You know what I'm saying? But you can. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm talking to a couple females that's like, you know, I, I don't date nobody above 15K on Instagram. That's Period. my rule. Unless they, like. Got it. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? So why but, why is that? Because like some females, they be acting like crazy when they get like 20K, 10K, like even 10K, they just be acting like different, bougie. And I seen it like coming from somebody that had like 8K from Instagram. And, and still be broke. Yeah. And how does that happen? Like how how do some people have all these followers and still broke? Because uh, they buy oh, sometimes they buy them. Yeah. They buy them or they just don't know how to market themselves. Like, cause when I was doing skits, everybody was like, oh, you rude, or you got to be more commercial. And I'm like, no, that's not me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to do 
what's funny to me. If I'm not gonna do what's funny to me, then what's the point of posting it? Because I'm trying to impress somebody else to get try to get a deal. No, the deal's gonna come. You know what I'm saying? The deal's gonna come if if, if you the meanest person in the world. You know, Trump. That's right. that's one example. He's the most hated, but guess what? He's still getting money. I bet. Right. Oh, yeah, he's definitely getting yeah. money. Yeah. So at the end of the day, it don't matter if you rude or not. If you love what you do, then do it. You know what I'm saying? No matter. Like, I'm in my first promo. I had 100K. I was happy. I didn't even know you can make money off this. Man. My first promo, somebody pr- promoting this app, and they really lowballed me. But it was like much? For $75. Oh, okay. But I was happy. I was like, what? Like, you know, like, <laughs> just do this and that and post bet. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I just kept doing it. And you just got to just market yourself and just really network, too. I mean, that's, that's about the same, because your favorite Instagram girl get about $75, $200 to shake her ass. Ooh. I can't say that, but... Okay. Right, I don't want you to do it. <laughs> yeah. Please don't. <laughs> so, so, so what, what's next? I mean, like, as far as, like, with the social media, what do you think the social media the wave is going now? You want my honest opinion? Honest opinion. Honest opinion. The social media wave is going to be here for a minute. Get Like me, um, my manager, I would say, get some digital real estate. Cause, period. Period. Get your followers up. Get ready. Cause it's just, this is just the beginning, no mm-hmm. cap. Instagram is a monster. Like I don't see Instagram. Like I thought Instagram was gonna die like a year ago, a year two years ago. It's still happening because they 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 adapting. That's the key to success. Always adapt to your environment. You can see how they killed Snapchat. You right. know what I'm saying? You see how they did. Um, what's that? What's that app that everybody was going on to? That live me or when Periscope? They, yeah, Periscope. Yeah, Periscope. Yeah. And they one update, boom. You know Done. what I'm saying? Done. It's all about the platform and how many people you got under that. They are the killing it now. And then they got Facebook behind them. So it's like... I think it's the same company. Yeah, it's the same company. Yeah. Well, Facebook on Instagram. Right. So it's like just a monster. So my advice for somebody coming up, don't do nothing crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, boom game. But do your craft on the internet. Because, like, somewhere, somehow, people will love it. Like, I know somebody that got, like, 100K subscribers on YouTube. And they all they do is paint. Bosses all day, you know what I'm saying? You you think people like 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 uh, boom, make it bad for 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 you, make it harder for they make it they make it no, I don't have no disrespect to boom, like you know what I'm saying, but I'm not ignorant. I'm actually smart. I right. just portray to be ignorant, like because I like funny shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it is kind of hard because people think, oh, he just an Instagram comedian. That's why me and Zach we did this movie because I'm just trying to tell everybody like, hey. This is more than just Instagram. Like, I actually love filming. I actually love writing. I'm actually a good director. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just using my platform to promote it. Pretty much. Dope. I definitely got to salute you, bro, and everything you got going on. One more question. Or a really answer. What would you tell the little chubby <clears throat> kid coming up mm-hmm. that's getting picked on at school? I can't say it on <laughs> I can say it on here, but say it. Shit. Just fuck them. For real. Like, just let them just know. Their life's going to be miserable, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, they assholes, you know what I'm saying? I get, I, I got picked on in school a lot. I went to Dub, by the way, too. Okay. I'm born and raised from Atlanta. But from an average kid that's getting picked on, just, hey, fuck them. Like, ignore them hoes. Like, get your money up, get your grades up, you know what I'm saying? Just focus on you because at the end, good deeds always win. Okay, well, still, speaking of being in Atlanta, have you ever ran into some of them girls that maybe from Doug back in the day that didn't give you no play, didn't oh, give you the paint the and draws and draws, and now they want to do a video with you and shout out? <laughs> what you tell them, man? Because I can't wait to stun on them hoes. I went to school I with. just be like, hey. Tell just, me, man. I just be like, hey, DM me. <laughs> just be like, DM me. I got you. Swerve. And just don't. <laughs> Never. <laughs> weave, weave. Yeah. Do you but, decline on them or, or, or what? No, sometimes I work with them. I'm a nice, I'm a humble guy. I'm nice, so. I work with them, but it's just like, hey, you know, I like that. Hey, Rob, you know, we be from high school. Hey, big head. How yeah. you how you swerve them when they ask for a shout out? I was, oh, on Instagram. <laughs> how you swerve them? Damn, you trying to learn all my secrets? <laughs> okay, I'll tell you. I swerve somebody from asking a shout out on Instagram. I'll just be like, man, my manager won't let me post nothing today, so um, you gotta talk to him. And I at him, and he'll get like all these messages. That's how I do <laughs> resident yeah, Africa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just be like, yeah, you gotta add my manager. Uh, he tripping by my promo. I can't shout nobody out. Apologize. 
Apologize. Yeah, yeah. So can we get a shout out? <laughs> <laughs> I just shouted you out. <laughs> he made sure he took my phone. Yeah, okay. and shouted you out. That's because he's African. That's what Africans do. He's like, put it in now. You always where is the shout that's out? The only thing you need on your team, you need a good Nigerian on your team, man. Yeah. A good old African. You know, where is where is right. this? Where is our shout out? <laughs> <laughs> so definitely, man. I gotta salute you and everything you do, man. You definitely an inspiration to all the kids out there, especially the kids appreciate that feel like they can't it. do it. You know what I'm saying? And you represent for the big boys. Hey. You got all the models rubbing bellies and stuff. Hey. Man, boobies. <laughs> Everywhere holding it down. <laughs> I ain't mad. Appreciate it. Salute to you, man. Robbie Wall, Dirty Boys, I was 79.